To answer contradiction in the statement that Hashem is great and our master more than the Elohim, to this that it says, And other than me, there is no Elohim. So how could you say he's greater than the other Elohim? If there's no Elohim, Uksiv ki Avaya, who Elohim? It says Avaya is the Elohim. Enod Milvado, there's none other. Rev Shalom, and we can say, Milvad, Mashnis Borli Il, aside from the answers that were given before, the Perusham Elohim Nikra Elohim, to say that the angels are what's called Elohim. Lefishanit, and Lehem Koachum Mimshala, that since they have some concept of strength and ability, but nonetheless, they don't actually have the ability to do good or bad on their own. Only with the statement from above. But further, we could say, because in the Yud Gimumidus it says, Hashem, Hashem. And there's a psik, there's a time of psik in between them, a line to separate the concepts. Uh, the Atika Kadish in comparison to the higher level of Shem of, of of the holy At of the holy Atik Shayechumi Beladai Ein Elokim and Ol Milvado. So that's on, on it's on that level that we say that there's no Elokim, there's not another. In the essence, who bezeir anpin and the lower name of Vaya and Zeh and Zah Shayech Mashikas Ma'ashamar David. That's where it's more fitting to what David says. Ki ani adati ki God lavaya vadoni nu mikol Elokim. That I know that uh, Hashem is great and our master more than the Elohim. So this this paragraph here is to explain David's statement. No longer worried about Yisro's statement that's already explained before. But even in David's statement, we need to understand. And we're saying that the higher level of Imbala uh, Dayin Elohim is Atika Kadisha, and the lower level is Za. Atika Kadisha is Zau Zeukinin Soviv Kolalmin Umemale Kolalmin and the Holy Atik and Ziranpin. This is like the concept of the the surrounding and the and the filling. Uh, how the Ebishto surrounds and fills creation. But nonetheless, even on the level of Zeranpin, Moshe says that Avaya Elokechem, which refers to Zeranpin, he is the Eloke of the Elokim. So I, I don't know why, what he's saying because that seems to fit in with what he's saying that he's, he's greater than, than all the Elohim. He's the Elokai of the Elohim. I'm not sure what the Mikul Makum is. We can bring a, a support for this. The support is from what Zohar Vayetze with the concept of uh, be, the, the get up Hashem and spread out your enemies, send them away. And the concept of get up Hashem to your resting place. So we have this concept of get up Hashem. Because in Zohar you can say that he's you can fight a battle. Like the concept of the battle to of, to Hashem in a Molek that there seems to be an opposing force that he has to fight. Like it says in Torah, or with the concept of that Yaakov fought with the angel of Esau. And that's why it says, Havaya is a man of battle, that Havaya is his name, that he fights with his name. That in the name Havaya, there's this concept of fighting. That if you lift yourself up like an eagle, from there I will bring you down, Hashem says. So that the name Hashem is giving a shaykh, is giving some kind of credence and place to this concept that it's fighting a battle. Therefore on this level, you could say that Havai is greater than all the Elohim. And therefore, and you cannot say on this level that there's nothing else at all. 
Because there's something that's fighting with the name of Avaya. Like the concept of a, a, a battle to Avaya on a Malik. A Malik is the Gematria of two times uh, the 120, the Gematria of, 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 of the combinations of the letters of the name of Elohim. So there you go. He's, he's over in, in, in rules over the Elohim. Mikol Elohim, like we said, we brought from the Shalah that there's the the Kuf Kaf Tzirufim in Kedusha and Kuf Kaf Tzirufim on the other side. The Chora. Hainu Mashi Kuf Kaf Tzirufi Elohim Achirim Mikabli Minika Mikuf Kaf Tzirufi Elohim the Kedusha. And here he brings it that you have 120 combinations of. Elohim Achirim, the other side of, of Elohim, and they get a nurturance from the 120 combinations of Elohim and holiness. That's the, the concept of a Malik. When through this they lift themselves up like an eagle. Right, that's from the, uh, the Nevuah of Ovadja who came from Edom. So this is all Yavik Ishimo, the fighting with the angel of Esav and a Malik. All, this is all a concept of Esav. Um, like an eagle with haughtiness towards the heavens, Shuzir that the heavens refers to Zah, right? The art is, is Malchus and, and the heavens is Zah in general. And in order to get a nurturance of Hashem's great kindness, that it doesn't differentiate. That in front of him, like light, darkness, like light. Like it says in the Mimer of Shalach and, and, and Vaeda, about this idea of the Nika that they try to get from the Makit. But nonetheless, Yisro says, Now I know that Havai is greater than all the Elohim. That is to say, from all the different kinds of Elohim, from both. both uh, Times both two two times the hundred and twenty combinations of Elohim, which is Amalek. That's why it says that Nisro heard the, the battle of Amalek. He didn't say Chris Yom. So if he heard the battle of Amalek, it's because he's greater than these two times of Elohim. And that is because in truth, the base Havayos Dezav Atika Kadisha. These two concepts of Shem Havaya. Both of Ziranpin and of Atik, Hakol Echad, it's all one. Ulchein, Im Tagbihi Kanesher, if you lift yourself up like an eagle, Lianik, Meromum was to. What does it mean to lift up yourself like an eagle? That is what you want to get from on high, to get from the Makif. Shlai de Havaya de Zah. Not from the name of Vaya of Zeranpin, but Lichorov to try to get from the Makif higher. From there, we'll bring you down, says Vaya. But on the higher level of Shema Vaya, That about this it says that get up Hashem to your resting place. It's 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 a concept of menucha, not battle. That in this level you do not have battle. It's like wax melting in front of a fire. In this aspect is what it says. That other than me there is no Elohim at all. And that's what it says, that Havaya is the Elohim, there's no other. Pirush Havaya Atika Kadisha. What, what are we saying here? It's the Havaya that's on the level of Atika Kadisha. Hu Elohim Za. It is the Elohim, which is Ziran, in comparison. Shlagabi Atika Kadisha, Nikra Bishem Elohim. But in comparison to Atik, Ziran Pin is called Elohim. And to say that there's no other Elohim other than me, that Za is the Atika Kadisha. This is like it says in the Mimer that is good to trust in Hashem. Which Havaya are we trusting in? That's Atik. From then trusting in man. 
Meaning to say even the higher concept of Adam within godliness. The, the, the man, the concept of man that's upon the, the heavenly throne. That, that refers to Zerampin in general. Because within the concept of man is the, the idea of this opposite this. Which is not the case with the higher name of Avaya. It says, I will, I will, I will cut them off. And a proof for this parish to say that there's two levels in the name Havaya. There's a, a support for this in Zorah Chilik Bez Mishpatim. Al Pasuguru Ataki Ani Anihu on the verse C now that it is I, it is I. The Ain Elokim Imadi and there's no Elokim with me. Ki Ani Ani Tre Zimnin. Why does it say I am, I am? It is I, it is I twice, am I el But to scrutinize the halays taman elokim elahu is it says it for emphasis to show that there is, really is no other uh, elokim at all other than him. It, it's it's shole legamre the kama zimnin deitmar ani zimna chada because there are a number of places where it says I only once v'lo yatir and not anymore. And there, and, and there is the 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 sitra achra is also there at that, when it only says it once. Aval hashta ani anihu, but now it says I am I am twice. Vein elokim imadi, and there's no elokim with me. The whole call sitra achra is avar. That is because all the sitra achra is wiped away. Vedaika ani ani ka ekanoshon, and specifically that's why it says it is I it is I. So here we see that there is ani with. Once and that is a lower level, and there's sitra akhra there. And then when you have ani ani, a higher level, then there's any lokimi madi. Vain be medrash rabba parsha bishal resh parsha kofalaf minyan ani ani hu olam hazer ulo olam haba. Look what it says in, in Rashab bishalach, um, where it's, it brings the pasuk, it is I, it is I, and it says. Why does it say it twice? One for this world and one for the world to come. I know Masha Amru is also a gimel, and that's what I just said in the end of this, the third parak, and it says on the bottom that this is empty in, in the in the Yad and, and it needs to be psachim. This is where it, that's the Maya Marko. Al pasuk b'yomahu yihia vaya echad. On the verse, on that day, Hashem will be one. And he doesn't bring it. Why will Kuti Torah Bashar Shlaf? So if you put on Hamas fill any Havai, okay, Hamashero says he is Hemerit Mitzrayim, the Rusharishan and Minyan Base Pamim Oni. Look what it says in the Kuti Torah on the Mimer I am Hashem, your El Okechem, that took you out of Mitzrayim, the first Mimer, with the concept of why it says Ani twice. Shumimala Kolalmin, so Viv Kolalmin, there explains it as Mimala and so Viv that. As he is able to fills creation and surrounds creation. And these are and these are the two levels of Shema Vaya. So we have Ulama Zer Ulama Ba, Suviv and Mamale, Zeran Pina Natika Gadisha, Vaya and Elohim. And Ani Ani. And look at also in Tanya. where it says it's known that within the arousal from below, there's an arousal from above. Therefore, in this world where it only shines, uh, I am once, you have the other side, a master that hides, because this opposite this. But in the time to come, we'll have the revelation of two times ani, two times I am, then will be revealed, like it says in the, in the last part of the Pasuk, that there's no Elohim with me. Look what it says in Bilkutu Torah Veskanan, and you should know today and place it upon your heart and in the beer. It talks about this as well. And since in truth, this, that in the time to come, 
you'll have the revelation of on that day, Yehavaya Echad, that Hashem will be one. That's why we say now that Avaya is our Elokeinu, Havaya is one. Because that's the truth. So even if we can't see it, we proclaim that level of unity daily as well. It's only that in the time to come we will see this. That Ani Anihu. That's why it says that even now you should know that Hashem is the Elohim, there's no other. That we need to know this, that this is the absolute truth in essence. And if so, this is that David Amelech says that I know that Havai is greater and our master from all the Elohim. So this is a great chiddush then. And it's not only in comparison to Atik, that encompassing of all the worlds, that level as he's encompassing all the worlds. That it's on that that Moshe said there's no other than one other than him. And on that level it says that other than me there's no there's no elokim there's no hiding. But even on the level of the lower Shem Havaya, of Ziranpin, Vadoninu, and our master, which is Malchus de Atzilut, the lowest level of Atzilut, that on this concept, there is this concept of an op opposing force. Like with the concept of a Malik, the concept of that which gets its nurturance from Elohim. But nonetheless, in truth, I know the souls, souls of Israel know that the name Havaya of Za that fills creation, the Mamale Mikol Helokim, is still greater than all the Elokim. Because Mamale is also Soviv. It's the same Abishter who encompasses that fills. Therefore, the the Godliness that's within Mimale is also um, without any Elohim, even even within Mimale, even within Havaya of Zeranpin. The Haraya and the proof is Kikola Shir Chafet Havaya also that everything he desired Hashem did. Which is the end of the pasuk. Rak, we need to say there's no opposing, there's no, no opposing force to him. Rak mikamocha elim havaya. It's only that it says who is like you, amongst the strong Hashem. And our sages said mikamocha be elimim havaya chuluchu, havaya chul. It's only but our but our and our sages translated it as who is like you amongst the silent. Should, that the uh, Zara of the Avodah Zarah are, are rukting they, they're, they're dancing in the Mikdash and the destruction and Hashem is silent that Hashem allows this even, even though the truth is that the essence is there and there's none other it's only that Hashem is so to speak silent and allows this pretense and illusion of another opposing force of, uh, an opposing side the Asitra Akra Kitzur, so in short, Ubizei Turatz Mashi Yishla having to give him me baladain ein od mamash, and with this we can answer that we need to understand that since it says that other than me there's nothing truly, Mao Milcham Alavaya Ba Malik, what is then the battle of Hashem to Amalik? Umaya Umahu Avaya Chetu Mrivav, and what is the Pasuk that Chana uh, um, says? I'm sorry, um, that Hashem, this was his devourer. Uh, and Shiraz Devorah says Hashem will, will cut down his enemies. Also, what does it mean if we have the the, the two um, goats on Yom Kippur and one is to Hashem and one is to Azazel? Why, if there's only Hashem and there's no other, why is there a, a goral to Azazel? It's all to Hashem. 
There's nothing that hides. But that is there is the encompassing concept and the filling concept of that as he fills creation and encompasses creation. And these refer to the two names of Shemavaya. And in comparison to that, as he is encompassing creation, everything is incomparable. It's not there. But as he fills creations, there is this opposite to this. And look what it says about this on the Pasuk. That it is better to trust in Hashem than to trust in man. That which is that is to say, within the godliness as it fills create the worlds. It says Hashem and his sheath. The, sh- the sun and its sheet are Hashem Elohim. So here's the the Chiddush and the Kitzer. It starts. The, 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 this wasn't brought in, the, in this paragraph. The concept of Shemesh Morgan of Elohim. The Shemesh Sam Oil Bahem that to the sun he is placed a uh, tent in them. Chama Benartik. The sun and its sheath. Where you have Havaya and you have Elohim. And the Elohim hides Shem Havaya. It's because of this hiding that you have this other side. Look what it says in Shirashirim. With the concept of that half of above is a Hormin and half, of, half below is Hormiz. That you have the, the godliness above and, 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 and the hiding below. And on there you, you have this idea of a battle of to Hashem and a Malik, and that Hashem should get up and spread out his enemies and, and make them run away. That there are enemies that you have to battle. And that's the concept of haughtiness towards the heavens. Like the Pasuk, that if it lifts itself up like an eagle, from there I will bring it down. But the truth is, even in Memalakol Almin, Neamar, Kigot Lavaya Vadun Enuchlu, it still says, and as he fills the world, it says that Hashem is great and our master from all the Elohim. He's still greater than. It's not an actual opposing force. Mishum the Be'em is Suviv Kolalmin, Umamala Kolalmin, Kolachad, because the Suviv Kolalmin really is the Mamala Kolalmin. There's one Abishter. He encompasses and he fills. So the same Abishter that there's no Elohim in comparison to in the essence, there's no Elohim in the in Mamala either. Aval Begiloi, but it's only what's revealed. In a re- revealed state, Suviv Kolalmin can say Sushab Bigluroso. As he encompasses the world, it's like the sun coming out of its, its, its in its strength, and no, no hiding. What about this? It says, you should see now that it is I, it is I, and there's no Elohim with me. This concept will be seen and, and as, as it will be revealed and, and seen. That's why it says you should see now, using the language of sight, because it's revealed and it's in a revealed state. And, and, but nonetheless, also now that it says, that it appears that there is the other side, we still say that Hashem is greater. That Hashem does whatever He wants and there's no opposing force. Because even now, there's no other. So what about the concept of the Pasuk? There is none like you. In Elohim, Hashem, that's so that's uh, uh, it's a language of comparison. So this is like the explanation of the name Tzvos, that he's a sign amongst his multitudes. That's also a concept of comparison. Of Al Shalom, and according to this, we could say Mashikos of Torah Kiyavaya Hu Elokim Inod. That this, that it says in the Torah, that Avai is the Elohim, there's no other Hainu Lugabi Soviv Kolalmin, that, that is in comparison to as he encompasses the worlds. Avaya Soviv Kolalmin, who Elohim, Imala Kolalmin, that Avaya is, who is Soviv, he, he is the Elohim, which in comparison is the Mamala, is, is that as he fills creation. So he is the Elohim, 
is this the, that is like we're saying here that the Mimali and the Sofiv are one. So that's the the Pedrish of Havai who Elokim. That's why we say Enod, because even in the Mamale there's Enod, because but because because the Havaya is the Elokim, that the Soviv is the Mamale. And this that it says in Tehillim, that I know that Havaya is greater than all the Elokim. I mean, that's from the perspective of Mamale. Of only Mamale, when you're looking just as he fills the worlds. Because even though in this concept you have this opposing side, and a battle to a to a Shem and a Malik, Mikol Mokum, Kol Asher Chafetz Avayi Asa. But nonetheless, even there, the end of the pasuk says that Hashem does whatever He wants. Mishum Debeemes Ani Ani Hub, because the truth is, it is I, it is I. So we've Kol Amin Ramalek, Kol Amin Kol Acha. That the as He encompasses the worlds and fills the world, it's all one. Rakshal Asi Lavo Yaya Bechinas Vubigilo. It's only in the time to come this aspect will be will will shine in a revealed state. While in Neymar. And upon this it says, that on that the Avaya will be one, meaning to say the two concepts within Avaya will be one. And the question in the Gemara is, he's not one now? Why do you say, and then he will be one? And then he will be one. So according to what was explained here, the Medrash Rabban Vaischanan is not explaining the words of Yisro in the same way as what David said that I am, uh, now I know that Avai is greater than Elohim. Because it it, it criticizes Yisro. But the Medrash Rabban of Kohelis, you know, no sin do fi b'divri Yisro, but the Medrash Rabban of Kohelis, that does not criticize the words of Yisro. So it is saying that yes, the Yisro, the same. They're saying the same thing. Yisro and David are saying the same statement. It's the same as what David said. And so forth. That that I know that Hashem is greater than all the Elohim, like was explained before. And that's the difference between the approach of the Medrash Rav Vayischanan and Medrash Rav Kohelis in explaining the words of Yisro and the words of David.